Make sure you watch this entire video for an absolutely free breakdown. Guys, this is the one that we have all been waiting for. The SEC championship games, the two best teams in college football, in our opinion, Georgia and Alabama. You guys know how much I loved Georgia all season. I predicted Georgia's going to win the national championship. I predicted Georgia's going to win the the, uh, the SEC championship. So let's dig into this game and let's see if my prediction is still the same. Before we do that, guys, turn your notifications on, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and become part of our community by commenting in the comment section. And of course, hit the like button on this video. Shout out time. Shout out to a new fan, Jonathan Manson, a very constructive, very constructive breakdown going against our prediction on the Oregon-Utah game, which, by the way, the game is still pending. As I'm recording this video right now, that game has not happened yet. But I just want to shout out Jonathan Manson. If your prediction comes through, you're getting a t-shirt, buddy. Great quality, great content. That's the type of comment, guys. Jonathan Man Manson should have a, a, a section in the dictionary next to constructive criticism comment because all right let me break this down if you're going to come to our page and you're going to disagree with us that's the way to do it jonathan manson I, i'm going to give you a shirt anyway i think well no you know what let me i'm, I'm getting a little too excited here if your prediction is correct i'm going to stick with the, the formula you're going to get yourself a t-shirt jonathan manson and don't edit it by the way because it says edited i don't like that so just leave it alone zoni norcal mika ott <clears throat> Ansel K, shout out. Gloria, as usual, shout out. Tell Rico to tune out. I like you, Gloria. Tyler Martin, 65% next year. I love it, buddy. JD, JD with possibly the smartest comment that I've seen in a while. What do people expect for a free pick? Right? JD, great comment. Jorge Liza, Jorge Lizaraga, welcome to the page. Greg Myers, shout out as usual. Forrest Schroeder. You're going against us, Forrest, but I'll respect it. And Jaden Nethery, shout out. Let's go to the last one. Eric Bratberg, Van Sosa. All right, I did all of these. Jeff Chung, Preston Burke. All right, guys, let's dig into this game right now. Like I said, um, we're 2-0 and on the week, by the way. One more thing, one more thing I didn't mention. Guys, go over to the Instagram not only do we post the free plays on our Instagram, sometimes, not always, but but we also post on our advertising Instagram, which is the Profits Picks. All right, the Profits Picks. I'll have my uh, I'll have my guy put a link in for that one. Go to the Profits Picks, and we do predictions on there too. And some of them are not even on here or our other page. For example. We gave a prediction on Wichita State and the Florida Panthers this week. Both of them are correct, and neither of them were on this YouTube page, and neither of them. We, 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 keep, you guys, we keep you guys on your toes, bouncing back and forth, all that stuff. So you got you to gotta keep up. We're all over the place. We're moving. You got to stick with us. All right. Number one ranked Georgia Bulldogs face off against the third ranked Alabama Crimson Tide. This is for the marbles right here. Georgia is a six and a half point favorite with a total set of 49 and a half. Georgia is 12 and 0 on the season. They have bullied everyone on both sides of the ball. They're one of the best teams in college football I've seen in a while. Stenson Bennett completed 65% of his passes, thrown for just under 2,000 yards, 21 touchdowns, five interceptions. I love what I'm seeing from this team. Zamir White, James Cook lead this rushing attack. 1,200 combined rushing yards, 17 rushing touchdowns. Don't get me wrong, 447 yards per game isn't bad, but it only ranks 50th in the nation, yet they're still putting up 40.7 points per game on offense, which is sixth best in the country. Their defense has been absolutely stout, dominant, 258 yards per game. Average of six point, hold on, let me, 6.9 points per game. Just think about that for a second. They're allowing less than a touchdown over a game over a whole span of a season. I mean, that's insane. That's absolutely insane. I don't even know what to say about that. Um, Bama, 
11 and one on the year, but they just haven't had a great season. They faced a lot of close calls and it just hasn't been a normal Bama season where they just blow through everybody. As good as Georgia's offense has been, Alabama's offense has been better. Bryce Young is completing 69% of his passes. He's thrown for 3,900 yards, 40 touchdowns, four interceptions. He's piping, piping, piping on the Crimson Tide rushing for 150 yards per game, putting up 42.7 points per game, which is more than the Georgia number. Most of their troubles has come against uh, opposing quarterbacks. They're giving up 213 yards through the air on average per game, which is too much for an elite team like them. It really is. Their rush defense has been absolutely phenomenal. They've allowed under 80 yards per game. Much of the reason why they're holding teams to under 20 points per game. We like what we see there. Guys, I know how good Georgia has been this year, but the public's all over them. Nick Saban and Alabama can never be counted out, especially in big game scenarios. They're tried and tested. They've been tested this year, including in last week's game where they defied all odds to come back and beat Auburn. I think they're going to ride that momentum a little bit. Let's look at the last head-to-head -head matchups. Bama has won all six, and they've covered four out of the last five spreads as underdogs. Give me seven, six and a half points with Alabama. Listen, guys, I think Georgia is going to win this game. Let me make that clear. But I don't think they're going to win it by more than a touchdown. You, you have Alabama at plus... 6.5. Let's think about what we're going to do with this one here. Hmm. Oh, yeah. By the hook, by the hook, by the hook. Plus seven. Roll tide, roll tide, roll tide. Now, that's the prediction. Um, this was a prediction, just so you guys know, that I was hesitant in making on first. But Chris talked me into it. My partner talked me into it. Now we're just going to roll with it. But I still think Georgia's going to win this game. I still think Georgia's going to win the SEC. As of right now, I still think Georgia's probably going to win the national championship. But they're not going to cover a seven-point spread in this game. Guys, bring us the love. Subscribe to the page. Turn your notifications on. Hit this comment section. I have a feeling this video is going to have a lot of comments because this is a popular game. And last but not least, hit that like button. I love you guys. I will see you tomorrow for an NFL football breakdown.